do you want to introduce yourself real quick for people that are listening so they know who you are? Yeah, yeah. Well, my um, I'm Ariel. I'm also a YouTuber, like you. Yeah, and somebody I actually just found your content because one of your viewers follows both of us. Mm-hmm. Um, and they saw that. I'm gonna turn the speed up so nice, on this shit if I can. You know, dude, that also creates. Uh, I think he creates video game content, or maybe he just does commentary. Um, came for me in a video, and then you know was like, dude. oh, on Twitter he was asking me if I wanted to debate him, and I was like, yes. And then I actually looked at his page and his content, and I was like, wow, this guy's actually an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> She's talking about and Bosch. I saw that you had him on your page, and you weren't happy with him either. So I was like, I need to talk to this guy. And that's how. <gasps> I need to talk to this neoliberal. <laughs> we came to be. That's how we sure, came okay. to be. Well, um, yeah. What was the uh, what was the root of you guys' disagreement? <sighs> oh man. Um. I mean, there. The, I guess a lot of things, but I think that a lot of trans activists that are not actually trans um remember have, that have a lot of issues with me because i call out the sexism in trans activism and there and there are some sexist things that they you know that unfortunately happens when you all of this if you, you know trade, anything you know if you know anything about like anything about this shit you know that she's laying out she's like preparing the battleground to lay out her turf talking points if you don't know what turf means it's trans exclusionary radical feminists um it's basically transphobic feminists who are like radical like they think they're radical they're mostly rad libs as far as i can tell of some of some color or another they're usually very culturally right wing though um because like at as you can imagine that's obviously a right wing position to take but also like certain types of feminism are just like still rooted in the fucking way things are the status quo anyway so like they are right wing um and it's basically a pussy cult but anyway transsexualism or transgenderism into into sexual orientation and stuff like that it gets very very somebody said true scum true Um, but as far as he's concerned i think he's just a typical woke white straight guy that like thinks he's fucking god's gift i guess i don't know this is a common and, talking point they um, use of like oh the white yeah, cis guy who has the it's like, like him all right you think. id poll um, identity politics this cynical then, use of like social it, categories it, you know, like that is fucking to, cancer you know, to be woke as hell but they're not actually listening to women so listening to women you see like you see that like they ugh. people don't people don't understand anything like this is what I've realized on both sides of things, like quote unquote, both sides of things. Cause it's all, you know, like the neoliberal establishment side, um, basically like centrists. Um, there are people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Uh, most of like, cause this is to me, this just reeks of like an antiquated idea and like a mainstream culture. So like, and all, all that is, Literally all that is, is fucking, like, stuck in the past bullshit. And, like, she thinks she knows what feminism means. Feminism doesn't mean listening to women. That's not... (laughs) That's not the same as actually caring about fucking systemic problems. People stuck in id poll land when they should be, like, learning about, like, intersectionality instead. Because, like, intersectionality is better. And this fucking makes more sense as a fucking lens of analyzing social systems. Um, if people are still stuck in the it poll thing, they don't, don't, do, just don't listen to them. Sure. So, do you have, um, do you have like a preference for like the topics we talk about, or else I can kind of ask you oh, some I'm questions here. about the. Okay, yeah, because I'm. Whatever you want. Sure. Okay, because I'm curious, because I've, I've heard things, but I'll, I'll get from you, I guess, what your particular views are. So, when you I can't believe. Theory, see, when I first watched this, when I first watched this, I was like, "Destiny better go hard on her," because if he doesn't, then like he's 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 done to me. Like I'm just gonna like. <laughs> but I didn't watch the whole debate because I literally cannot stand her dumb takes. But I really want to get to there them. Are, so well, like, I guess the first question: Do you believe that non-trans people could theoretically be trans activists, or do you think that should be exclusively like trans people? I think that non-trans people can be trans activists, but I think they have to look at every side of um, the situation. Sure. What is the situation is what I would ask her right there. 
what um when you mentioned that there's like a lot of sexism and trans activism mm -hmm. what that's a pretty broad thing what like what do you mean by that i guess yeah i i mean when at, at the very root of it mm -hmm. when you are listening to males over females you know and and specifically because there's so few See, but that's not what f being a f being a feminist doesn't mean you just listen to females more than males. That's literally like she's literally taking. It's as if she was always the cancerous caricature of a feminist that like a fucking libertarian would have or something, you know, like a like one of those like a fucking MGTOW asshole would have. You know what I mean? Like that kind of <laughs> that kind of shit. Like she's literally the thing that they think it means to be like a smart person but it actually isn't that there are stupid people who are that and she's one of them trans people like actual transsexual people and you're still listening to them over female like actual transsexual people transsexual is an old word most of the people who still use it to describe themselves and their friends <laughs> the whole i have trans friends defense um, are doing it because they basically believe that you need to fully, uh, quote unquote, assimilate, which that whole idea and concept of assimilation into gender is bullshit and just leads to like allegations of like gender imperialism, whatever that means, um, which is just more turf rhetoric. But, <sighs> God. Concerns? You know, and there aren't many female concerns in regards to it. There's only like four, but they're very important concerns, you know, and 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 it's unfortunate because if when we speak out against it, um, we're told that we're transphobic, we're called TERFs, we're called bigots. See how I've already called her a TERF, but I've like backed it up. <laughs> and, she's, and she's like, they call us TERFs. It's like, yeah, because you are one, perhaps. Um, if you look, you know, into the word TERF, it's... 99.9% .9 of the time used against women. It's almost never used against, against men. women. <laughs> as so if that matters. There as well. I don't even know if you know any of the history of this. I think I'm going right into it too quickly. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm roughly familiar. So Turf is a trans exclusionary, exclusionary radical feminist. Um, and yeah, then thanks, fought, like, Destiny. The, the, the whiffs of like the tail ends of a lot of arguments that um, there are feminists that believe that trans women, that some feminists would refer to as men, are infringing on mm -hmm. like certain areas that should be the domain of women and, and it kind of overrides some of the concerns that women have or whatever. Uh, but I, yeah, I don't want to put any words in your mouth. I guess, what are your specific concerns? Like what you mentioned there are like four concerns. What are the concerns that you feel are being overlooked by normal women in favor of trans women? I, yeah, I, I think, I think, I don't know why Desi I think one of the, one women, of the main the concerns way. is that, um, you know, at this point the word woman has become meaningless like anybody can no it hasn't it's like an identity it yeah because because it is just a fucking identity that's all it means that's it it has a meaning that's still a meaning the problem with these people is they don't understand that even though you are the gender that you have always been you still have a fucking gender identity. That's why they even get pissed about this pointless shit. Because they're too stupid to get it. And the fact that they feel like their gender identity is being attacked. That's literally the root of the co- Like, that's the problem. This is total, like, Carl Jung said that quote of, like, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will remain fate or some shit like that. It's literally like that type of situation. They literally just don't get the like anything, like even themselves. Um, and there's no tactile, you know, thing that makes us so, which inherently. Yeah, like, true. Identities are socially constructed. True. Like, how can you how can you protect something without defining it? Is what it comes down to. What do you mean by fucking protect? Why do you feel like... See, I don't even feel like she's a milquetoast feminist anymore because it feels like she just thinks women are weak and need protection, which is a fucking paternalistic version of sexism, so... We have, we have uh, people that are claiming to be trans women who, who I don't actually think are trans women, by the way, and that's, like, been misinterpreted. Um, <laughs> claiming to be trans... I think it's men claiming to be trans women, going into women's prisons. And this has happened more than once. This has happened 10 to 15 times over the past few years. 
10 to 15 times over the past few years is not that many times. Simply because they're identifying as women and they're going, they're going into women's prisons raping them. You know, they're taking advantage of the system. And it's unfortunate because the trans women that I know also feel the way that I do. You know, they're like, we don't, we don't believe that people that present, you know. Probably because the trans women she knows are like fucking like Gen Xers or something. But first of all, sex offenders do not belong in women's prisons. You know, and that's the majority of these cases are, are sex offenders or murderers. Like, you know, it's not just like an average trans woman that was on, you know, that had, had a minor felony for like drug possession or something. You know what I mean? It, it, and it's the people are trying to be as woke as possible. And females always get the shit end of it because we are, the, you know, biologically. Females, bro. Are generally a weaker, <laughs> physically a weaker sex. Um, so oh, poor, poor, up. poor us. Uh, like, what the fuck, dude? She's not even a feminist at all. You know, more at risk than, than a guy would be, you know? Okay, so... That's one of the concerns. Yeah, I understand. A guy. <laughs> um, just as a preface, so when I do these conversations, I kind of like to go point by point. If I ever say anything that you disagree with, you can cut me off and stop immediately, and then we can address that disagreement. Um, and then I might yeah, do sure. the same for you if you say something, and then I'll stop you. And then um, just so that we don't go on too long, um, that's how I do it. So if I do it, don't mistake it for rudeness, and then you could do it to me. I have no problem. I won't, I won't care. Just yeah, yeah sure of course. So <clears throat> starting, with the, um, starting with the very first thing that you said, uh, you talk about how like the word woman has become meaningless. So let's say that we were to... Well, first, I guess I would ask, do you believe that there's a distinction between sex and gender, or do you see these concepts as being one? I think that there, there's, or there obviously biologically is a sex. Like, there are sexes, right? There's, there's, you know, intersex, there's male and female. No, it's not that there are sexes, it's just that sex exists. Sex is a spectrum as well as gender, even though it's a biological concept. Um, but the word sex even doesn't if you're just talking about chromosomes then then yeah there's like only a few variants um if you're talking about reproductive type of sex there's only two right it's male and female if you're talking so it's just like in that case that yes yeah, sex the idea of sex can be it, it's not completely binary but it is biological um gender what what i say when i mean gender is not that because I think that that the idea that there are male and female brains have been has been disproven, but we True. do know that trans brains look sim more similar to the gender they identify as. So there is something in their brain, and maybe that's where the gender thing comes from. That's what that's what I mean when I talk gender. So I think gender can be different okay. than sex. Okay, this is where she gets it wrong because your brain is still your biology, and gender is not biology it's the other part of it it's the social cultural part of it the only reason why we need two different words for it is we just because we don't have enough words in the english language to call it something other than gender because like fuck a gender dude that word has it has too many like it it means too many different stupid things to too many different people so like we just need like a new a new thing to call this weird thing we do where we like make ourselves look different ways and shit as humans but i want i thought destiny was going to make the point that actually what happens more often is trans women get sent to male prisons and then get raped like that like that's i i i thought he came in with that because she was i hope i hope so i hope that's what he's about to say um yeah yeah evidence by the fact that most people are cisgender versus transgender exactly exactly um, i guess so like when i when i um the reason why i'm asking because i didn't want to have to make that point myself point the word woman has become meaningless i mean it mm -hmm. seems like the, the word woman still has a great deal of meaning in terms of like social connotation and that even most trans people would want to protect to some extent what woman means right like a trans woman wants to be seen as a woman if see destiny's talking about what i was just talking about where it had it's, it's like a loaded word these gender terms i actually don't want to keep that i <laughs> like the gender abolitionist train is like more my style but i'm fucking out of time so yeah ariel scarcell is a transphobe goodbye she's also a turf <laughs>